There is a great light that is treasured within the soul of the Israeli person, and no one can understand how deep it goes. No one can understand how attached you are in the roots of your soul to infinity, to the maker of the world, and how much he himself is shining his light through you out to the world. Now for an example, if you eat a cucumber, okay, a nice example, you eat a cucumber and you don't think and you don't realize and no one of course can know and realize what really goes on when you eat that cucumber. But I want to tell you a secret. Inside that cucumber, there are 84 seeds, for an example. And when you bite that cucumber, you bite it and eat it in seven bites. And in one of the bites, you're eating eight seeds. And in one other of those bites, you're eating nine seeds. In the next one, it's a tiny bite. You ate only four seeds. And on and on and on. And you don't see any connection between what you did to spirituality. But when you were biting the first bite, you were biting it on the right side of your mouth. And then you were using the third, the fourth, the fifth two teeth from the top and the fifth and sixth and fourth teeth from the bottom. And there is a wisdom in that because you have 32 teeth in your mouth, 16 on top and 16 in the bottom. And they are all called Shinebina, teeth of wisdom, wisdom tooth, right? You also have it in English. And those teeth are creating a certain combination in the right order of your bitings. And you bit that piece of the cucumber six times in the first bite, seven times in the second bite. The third bite was smaller, like we said before, and you took only two or three bites before you swallowed it. And those combinations of the seeds that were grind by your teeth in a certain number, in a certain order, are equal in their number to a certain verse. And that verse is a verse that is correcting your mindset that you were at in that time of eating. And you're not aware to that verse. You're not aware to the numeral value of the letters of the verse that is the correction and the completion of your mindset, of your feelings, of your emotions. And when you are eating that cucumber, sparks that are receiving their energy, their positivity, from the Torah, from the wisdom of the Torah, that nothing in this world works without the energy that comes out of the Torah, are shining through those seeds that are inside your cucumber. And when you bite them and you're chewing them with your teeth, you are uplifting those sparks to the right level to complete correction in a great elevation and towards complete redemption of the whole world. And you're not aware of that. But every time you eat a cucumber, every time you drink a cup of water, every time you eat a watermelon or even a steak, when you are chewing with your teeth, you are uplifting sparks, holy sparks of godliness that fell down from the time of exile and spread in the world. And it's your mission to uplift those sparks. And the elevation of sparks is taking place while we're eating, while we're drinking, while we're talking, while we're thinking, while we're sitting, while we're walking. In every move you make, you are uplifting sparks. As long as you connect your mind to faith, you are able to uplift sparks in levels and from deep levels and layers that you are not even aware of their existence. And you should only attach yourself to Hashem. And all those things are happening on their own. You don't need to aim. You can believe. If you will believe and will remember, you're going to boost yourself with energy that will help those sparks to rise and to shine in greater ways. But in any case, this is a spiritual system that takes place in the back end of the world, behind the curtains of physicality. And people are not aware of that. And all those combinations in great numbers with no end to those combinations are taking place in every 
moment of our existence and you should be aware of the greatness of the creator and you should be happy in your share and your part in that hidden mission that you're going and walking on earth in a hidden mission undercover to uplift sparks from the depths of exile and you're doing it while we speak while we learn while we pray while we eat while we sleep be strong and powerful and Hashem will complete his great work with us through us to us to complete redemption and great salvation in our days amen